kids have been babied their whole life. Now they're adults and don't know how to, yeah, how to they take stomp their, their toe and they, they think they're gone, so. <laughs> hey, I have a blizzard from the footballs that I was wearing. I do! Yeah, I'm telling y'all, when y'all grow up and that real world hits y'all, it's gonna be hard. To go take it to Caitlin's room and do it. Well, I, I, me and Brooke was talking about um, everything that's going on right now, and I told her I've always felt like we, our generation was going to live to see another one. We, you know, 9-11 happened, we was young, we don't really remember that, but I feel like oh, we're going to live to see another war. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Yeah. all this stuff going on. Because they sent troops yesterday from what Brooke was saying. Mm -hmm. But we're not the only country who has their back. So I know there's other countries that are sending troops too. It's almost too late now. Yeah, they've, they've already been involved and stuff. And there's been videos going on TikTok of people posting videos of places getting bombed. Like, you can see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I sure would if Russia's going to take it over. The people need to destroy that country before they leave and say, okay, here's your destroyed ass country. Yeah, well, I mean, they're doing it anyways. They're taking they're buildings down for what? They're well, destroying it. Well, yeah. Russia's not really just blowing everything up like they could because, like they said, Russia doesn't want to destroy it. But they're getting as close as they can to their base. That was one thing that they were talking about. They're not going to blow that base up because it has everything that they need there. But they're getting really close to it, kind of as a warning. They just give it over. I mean, when you're that, when you have that big of a country coming for your land, you might as well just give it up. I get the.